Is Laravel still relevant in 2023? Let's find out. So according to the Stack Overflow 2022 developer survey, 45% of Laravel developers dread using Laravel, while 55% love using it. For comparison, this is one spot below what developers using Ruby on Rails thought about Rails. Phoenix is top of the table, and there are many more more loved frameworks than Laravel. So it's clear that using this data, developers love other frameworks a lot more than Laravel. Laravel uses Symfony components, which are decoupled libraries for PHP applications. I think of them like Ruby gems or node packages, and they make building web apps much easier. But now let's talk about the steep learning curve of Laravel. Laravel has a lot of features and functionality. This makes it difficult for new developers to get started. Also, developers claim that Laravel has some performance issues. Laravel can be slower compared to other PHP frameworks or just other frameworks in general, especially when handling complex and large applications. Developers also don't like that Laravel heavily relies on third-party packages and some of them might not always be reliable or well maintained. Also, Laravel comes with a lot of overhead. Kind of like Ruby on Rails, this can make it difficult to scale or manage large applications. It also has limited support for older PHP versions. Laravel requires at least PHP 7.2, which isn't suitable for older projects that are still running on older PHP versions, so it just makes a hassle. One of the biggest advantages of Laravel is its reliable documentation. Laravel developers say that it's well written, easy to understand and up to date. This makes the learning curve for Laravel not quite as steep as say other frameworks, but if you ever get stuck, the main helping hand will be the active Laravel community. In comparison to other frameworks, it's always there to help. So is Laravel relevant in 2023? It's a combination of speed, performance, documentation, popularity and productivity. It's still the king of the PHP hill, so the short answer is yes. Now click the video on screen about whether Ruby on Rails is still relevant in 2023. You should get a lot of value from it and I think it's a really interesting video. Thanks for watching, if you like this video subscribe and then I'll see you in the next one.